Great. So hopefully you managed to get lots of information yesterday with your research into the Roman soldier and the Celtic warrior. So you should have now two pieces of paper and on one piece of paper, you've got a list of ideas and points about what you found out about the Roman soldier in terms of what he wore, weapons and armour, and then any techniques or strategies that the soldiers used that you found out about. And in the same way, you should have some information that you've collected and organised for the Celtic warrior as well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try and organise all those ideas into a piece of writing about um, the comparison between the two and about what that um, meant for the success of the Roman Empire. So in today's folder, you should have um, a writing guide. So it's just um, something which will hopefully guide you, as it suggests in the name, on how to write your piece of writing today. So this isn't really for you to write on now. This is just for you to look at and just for you to think, OK, this is how I'm going to structure and organise all my ideas that I found yesterday. So if we just talk through the guide together um, and then hopefully that will give you um, an idea of how you're going to use it when you come to do your piece of writing. So uh, as with any piece of writing, we need to have an introduction. We need to have something at the start that explains what we're going to write and writing about. So we've got a little sentence starter there. Now you can choose to use that. You can choose to come up with your own one. But in that introduction, you need to be explaining what today's piece of writing is going to be about. And then we have then got a section where we are going to write about the Roman soldier. OK, so we're going to be thinking about those different aspects that you researched yesterday. So this next paragraph is all going to be to do with what the Roman soldier wore, the weapons that they had, anything that you want to talk about there, and then how they used those weapons um, with their strategy and the technique that they had. So that's going to be our second paragraph of writing. And then we're going to then move on to talk about the Celtic warrior as a comparison. So we are going to, again, use your research sheet, put those ideas together that you found out yesterday about the things that they wore, the weapons that they used, and then how they used those weapons and any armour that they had and protection that they had to help them in their um, fights that they had against the Romans. So we've got two comparative um, paragraphs that we're going to have. First one about the Roman soldier and then about the Celtic warrior. The final part then of our piece of writing then comes on to the opinion, okay, that you have. So this is what you think. So you at the moment have been quite factual. You said this is what the Romans had, this is what the Celtic had. So you now need to explain which Best, which soldier you think was the better equipped and the more prepared for battle. Okay, so this next paragraph is going to be your opinion. So bearing in mind what you find out, what you've learned, you are going to explain which one you think the better equipped soldier was and also why you think that as well. Okay, so was it because they had the better armour? Was it because they were trained um, more so in warfare and battle techniques? Why do you think that was? Okay. And then our very final paragraph, just like for any piece of writing, we need to have an introduction. We also need to have a conclusion. And so Remember, this piece of writing was really to help us to explain about why we felt the Roman Empire had grown in the way that it did. So from what you found out to, um, yesterday and today, thinking about what your, your findings were, how does that help us to explain how the Roman Empire grew? Why were they so successful? OK, so that is your writing guide just broken down into step by step. So each of those sections there is going to help to guide you in paragraphs that you are writing. And those sentence starts and those questions there are really used as 
prompts just to try and help to take you through each part step by step. So remember, you're not actually writing on this sheet. This is just there. It's a bit of a comfort blanket, really. It's just there just to help you come through it bit by bit. So what you are going to do is use your research sheet and use that writing guide to help you to write your piece of writing. So I have got in front of me on my screen now, a blank piece of paper with a Walt at the top. And that is pretty much what you are going to have, really. You are going to have your piece of paper in front of you, but using what you found out and using that guide, you are going to help put a piece of writing together. So the first thing we're going to do, remember thinking about our writing guide is we're going to do an introduction, okay? So I could start writing um, in this, piece of writing, I am going to compare the Roman, now otters will know that my typing skills are not the best, so you might have to bear with me as we're typing through. So in this piece of writing, I am going to compare the Roman soldier with the Celtic warrior. I am going to explain, and I'm going to think back now about what things it was we were looking at. So I'm going to explain the things that they wore, the weapons that they had, and the techniques. Bear with me, techniques, that's it, that they used. So that, that's my introduction. It's just a very simple couple of sentences just to explain that this is what my piece of writing is going to be about. And so I'm explaining those main areas that I'm going to be looking into and explaining as we go through. So my next section now should be about my Roman soldier. So go back to the writing um, guide, look at what things we're going to be talking about. So we will remember we're going to be talking about the uniform, the uh, weapons and armour, and then the techniques that they used. So remind yourself of that. Then look at your research sheet and tell me, write in your piece of writing about what the Roman soldier did. Okay, so this next bit Okay, is going to be about the Roman soldier. So I could begin, the Roman soldier had many parts to their armour. And I could then go on and explain about their armour, the weapons that they had, the training that they did, the techniques that they had. All of that is going to come into this paragraph here, okay? I'm not going to write it all now for you because you're going to do that, but I'm just going to skip down a little bit now. So imagine I've put all of that information there now about the Roman soldier, about what I found out about them. So my next paragraph, according to my writing guide, is going to be about the Celtic warrior. So my introduction, my opening sentence is going to start off as a comparison with that, okay? So I could begin with, the Celtic warrior had very little protection um, when they went to battle. And then I can talk about, well, what did they wear when they went to battle? What did they have? Again, what equipment did they have? What techniques did they use? So this next paragraph here is going to be all about the Celtic warrior. Now notice I have not got any headings as such as we've gone through here. There are headings on your writing guide, but there are not any headings in here because your paragraphs do that job of telling us about what each paragraph is going to be about. So my opening sentence for each paragraph tells me this is what it's going to be about. So it gives it a nice flow to your piece of writing. So we've got our introduction, we've got a section about the Roman soldier, 
I've got a section about the Celtic warrior. Now, the next part, again, I'm leaving space here because I'm not writing it all for you. You're going to do that. But once you've written about that, then your next bit could be about, in my opinion, remember this from our writing guide, in my opinion, I think that the better equipped soldier was, that's up to you, isn't it? You've got to decide what you think. Don't forget to tell me why as well. Why do you think that that was the better equipped soldier? What reason? So you can go back to what we've talked about already and you can explain in that there, okay? And then the very last paragraph, and this is only going to be a short paragraph. Our introduction was very short at the beginning. Our conclusion can just be a couple of sentences just to sum up, okay? What you think um, or how you think that the Roman soldiers and how they were equipped helped to explain how the Roman Empire grew. So you could begin your conclusion by saying, in conclusion, I think that the Roman Empire. Again, remember, I've got to bear with me on my typing skills. I think that the Roman Empire grew so far and so wide because, and again, that's for you to fill that part in there. So use all the information you've got, use your research, use the guide, and you can put together your own piece of writing in much the same way as I've just broken it down for you then, okay? Think about your sentences, Think about your um, punctuation that you're going to use and all those things that we talk about as well, because those are really important. But use it step by step and keep reading and keep checking through. So I look forward to seeing, um, as does Mrs Gray for Squirrels class as well, the work that you managed to put together. Um, I'm sure you find out lots of information, so hopefully you'll have plenty to write about today, and lots of ideas and lots of thoughts. So when you have finished your piece of writing, um, if you can send it through to us, we would love to see it and love to see what uh, your views are on the difference between the Roman soldier and the Celtic warrior. So have a good day, enjoy, and we will uh, speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.